Mina, Code Bon Noir, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Psalm 62 is where I'm at, and this is this is gonna be a completely clear-cut message. It's like I wouldn't say there's a contradiction in the scripture here, but rather there's a contradiction in human nature that I feel like the scripture here alludes to. I'm not even sure if that was David's intent. Probably not, but that's what I got out of it, so it's, it's my channel, it's my it's my life. And that's what I'm sharing with you guys. I can't share with you anything else. So I just wanted to share my thoughts on this psalm with you and what I got out of it. The first verse is going to be Psalm 62, verse 7. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my refuge, and my refuge is in God. Back up to verse 6. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. Now, all of this stuff sounds really, really solid, right? You know, God's there for you. He's got you. You're not going anywhere. You're fine. You're strong. You're safe. You're saved. You're glorified. You've got all of this good stuff, right? And then you back up to verse 2. Well, actually, let's go, let's go back to verse 1. I'll, I'll start it with the first verse this time. So start at verse 1. Truly my soul silently waits for God. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. What we see in the first two verses, we, we don't see someone who's completely safe. We don't see someone who's completely secure. Um, and he, he very well may be moved. He just won't be moved greatly. So he's not, he's not in a perfect position. I'm just like, that's kind of how it feels a lot of the times. I feel like that's really, really, really honest of David. Like, even though God's on my side, I can be moved. My heart tends to waver. Sometimes things in life don't go so well. It certainly looks like things are moving. Maybe they're not moving greatly. Maybe things aren't falling apart. But things do seem to be not going quite so well. And maybe it reminds me of years ago when I walked away from God for several years. Never lost my faith completely. I know some have. I didn't. And again, I can only speak of my story. And since I was saved the entire time despite my living in the flesh, since I still believed in Jesus, maybe you could say I wasn't greatly moved. Although some people would disagree and say, no, you weren't serving God. You were like just saved. You were moved pretty greatly. So that could be argued one way or the other. It just seems, it just strikes me as really, really, really honest of David. It's like you hear people say the verse 6 and 7 stuff all the time, the verse 1 and 2 stuff where things aren't so great, where you're being moved, even if it's only a little bit. You tend not to hear too much about that. Although it just occurred to me as I was reading it here on camera, it's interesting that the part where you could be moved, where things aren't going so great, that's at the beginning. You go down a few verses. And then, you can't be moved, you're safe, you're secure, you're fine. And maybe that was the natural progression. You don't start off great, you don't start off wonderful, even though God's in your corner. And as you get closer to Him, as you gain more security in Him, as you have more faith in Him, as you learn to know Him and you draw closer to Him, you see how secure you are and you see, you know what? I'm really not going anywhere. I can't be moved at all. My God's got my back and I'm not going anywhere. It is blessings and good stuff and complete security and defense from this day forward. And maybe it, that strikes me as like a good natural progression in a song that, and in life itself, in faith. That strikes me as kind of the natural progression. You, you don't start off like this Im immobile rock, but eventually you get to a point where you're not going anywhere. You are completely secure. And maybe that was the intent of Psalm 62. So, thinking along the way, um, I didn't even get all of that out of it the first time I read through it just a few minutes ago. So, it's kind of cool to share not only my first thoughts, but what I got on the fly on camera. So, there you go. That's as, uh, that's as real an experience as you can get right there. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully, it uh, blessed you. It blessed me. I love you. God bless.